back here now with Scott Lutch. And Brian's ball forward. Baldwin with the shot! Oh! That's a beauty! Notts County's first significant attack, and Enzio Baldwin with a rocket. Well, that certainly brought Menor Lane to life. Brilliant play from Jim O'Brien in that midfield area. Maybe look at the right back, Alexander has to show him down the line. If you show him inside, this is what could happen. Great couple of touches there to set himself, and that is like an absolute rocket into that top corner. I'm absolutely amazed the Nets being able to keep the ball within the goal because that was going straight through it. What a goal. And they trouble Sam Slocum here. Hey. Notts County wall retreating here. Jack Taylor, the Irish under-21 international, is going to be taking this, and it's a real opportunity. Well, it is there. I mean, look at Sam Slocum, he's central. Jack Taylor could go goalkeeper's side to Sam Slocum's left. Here's Taylor. And his reaction tells you all you need to know, really. Shimanga got both of Boreham Woods' goals in there, 2 2 draw with Chesterfield, a real thriller at Hayes Lane, Bromley 3, Torquay 3. Could be a chance here for Barnett right across the six-yard box. They were suggesting that maybe there was a foul in there. Mason Clark it was who went down in the six-yard box. That will be interesting to see again. Well, it's a good diagonal across to Jack Taylor. There was Mason Clark through the middle. He felt that there was enough on him not to get on the end of this one. Certainly time will tell with this one there. They go short, Alexander goes long. Taylor that starts it, peels off to that far post. There is Ben Turner in the middle there. And certainly six and one half a dozen of the other, in my opinion. Lito, a former England youth international, played with the likes of Danny Welbeck, Danny Rose, Danny Drinkwater, and under 19 level. There's his corner, Ricardo Santos up, and the head is on target. And it was flipped on again, and the Bees are on level terms. It's the skipper, Reynolds, who's got the equaliser at Meadow Lane. County just couldn't get it clear, and Barnett made the most of it. Well, certainly a learning curve for Notts County. Like they found out against Eastleigh that you have to defend set plays in the National League better than what they are doing at this moment in time. Brilliant play there from Santos to lose Mitch Rose. You see them tussling with each other, it's just a battle strength there, so get off me. I'm going to let that ball back across, they keep it alive really well. Harry Taylor does it well. And it's just great reaction there from Callum Reynolds, off the line, to get one of the easiest goals of the season for him. Almost five minutes gone in this second half. The header. Watch wide in the end. Little change to the squad, they've got that continuity. I find it interesting that, you know, Orient finished with 60 points the season before they won the title, exactly the same points tally that Barnett did last season. But these are the sort of games they're going to have to go on and win if they are to claim the title. Dennis has a go! Well, rather than winning the game, they almost went behind there. There was an important touch by Loach. That's the one real thing that's been lacking in this game so far is either goalkeeper not really being pulled into too many saves like this. Look at Santos, look at Reynolds, they have to be defending better than that. Reynolds trying to play out from the back, just put your foot through it. I have to say, that's an excellent save, though. Brilliant really is good save. Fantastic, wasn't it, from Scott Loach. This. Around 20 minutes to go, if we include added on time. Here's Jack Taylor, who's the sort of player who can unlock the door for Barnett. Alexander. Jack Taylor's made a clever run, looking to get in behind Declan Dunn. Akinola waiting for the cross, and it's dropped for Dunn, and it's straight out the keeper either side of him, and Slocum would have had real problems. It's all of an hour to go, and he's not going to be coming on at the moment. I, I do get what you're saying, but then there's other... You look at the two that he's bringing on, Sparks, that uh, got a decent left foot on him that could maybe create something, Bucard in that midfield area that just holds up play nicely. Here's Akinola, who's in behind the chance to put them in front, and he takes it. 
three goals in three games for Akinola. And Barnett have turned it all around at Meadow Lane. From 1-0 down to 2-1 up. It's a very, very tidy finish there from Akinola. But you certainly have to question the defending from Notts County. Great little play there into Taylor. And it's just a perfectly weighted through ball. Akinola there all around the table, turns Graham. And then you need that little bit of time, that bit of a composure to go through on goal. Great touch, great finish, great goal. Check of the watch from the referee. And the full-time whistle. The Bees take the points. The final whistle met with Boos at Meadow Lane. Darren Curry's side make it seven points from a possible nine. A good start for Barnett as they seek a return to the Football League.